Minute Videos is back at it again, making more mental health videos about stories that might not be too accurate, and that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is pull different topics from YouTube or pop culture and see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because one of my passions is mental health. I believe in it. I think a lot of us should be talking about mental health more and many videos, I'm on the fence about it because Minute Videos is a huge channel. They talk about mental health a lot uh, through these animated stories. Their animation's pretty cool. I will give them that. It is pretty cool. And they're bringing awareness to mental health. But one of the things that I want to do is I kind of pull different videos that they do. I'm like, ah, that might not be too accurate. All right. So anyways, today they just released a video that said, I failed high school because of bipolar disorder, all right? So real quick recap of this video that they did. Um, basically, there was a young woman who was in high school. She had uh, been diagnosed with like ADD. Later on, she was diagnosed with depression. She started taking meds for that. And then they start to talk about these new strange symptoms that she started to get. She started to forget everything. And she said she was really good at math and then she stopped being good at math. And then like a teacher asked her if everything was all right. She said it wasn't all right. And then she ended up failing out of high school. And then she goes and gets diagnosed with bipolar disorder and everything is great again. But unfortunately, there are some issues with this story. So like I was saying, like I'm glad that they're bringing some awareness to mental health topics. Like that's good, but misinformation can be bad. So it gets to a uh, part of the story where she talks about how she went to go see a therapist and she brought her dad along. She brought her dad along and sometimes this is normal. Some therapists will allow you to bring your parent or partner or some person like in your life with you some therapists will prefer that you don't but anyways she talks about how she had a two-hour session talking about what's going on and the therapist diagnosed her with bipolar disorder and then sent her off with a prescription for meds which ended up helping her this is incorrect therapists don't do either of those two things therapists do not diagnose and therapists do not prescribe medications so that's one of the reasons why i wanted to make this video to get the correct information out there all right so if you're going to get diagnosed this needs to be by a psychologist all right therapists do not diagnose therapists are more there to help you work through you know your past and life issues that you're having that might be related to your past and give you different coping skills so like if you have bipolar disorder or depression or anxiety or trauma or anything like that a therapist can be very very useful but if you need a diagnosis typically a therapist is going to uh, refer you to somebody who has a higher level of education than they do, all right? But the second thing is therapists cannot, they cannot prescribe medications, all right? This would have to be done by a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist is a medical doctor who will prescribe medications. Now, in some states, a psychologist can actually prescribe these medications or you can see a psychiatric nurse, they can also prescribe medications in some cases. So I just wanted to straighten that up in case anybody watched that minute videos, video, all right? But the other thing is too, bipolar disorder is a very, very tricky disorder to diagnose. Um, and just so you all know, and I probably should have said this a little bit earlier, I am not a licensed therapist or psychologist or psychiatrist or anything like that. A lot of my passion, like I said, is about mental health. I do a lot of my own reading and studying and things like that. But bipolar disorder is a very, very tricky disorder to diagnose from what I've learned just because of the symptoms. There's manic states and depressive states, but there are many other disorders that have issues with emotional regulation, all right? And a lot of various disorders that kind of overlap one another as well, which can make it very, very tricky. So oftentimes bipolar disorder gets misdiagnosed. I've heard in some cases that it takes like years of getting mental health help before they can definitively say that a person has bipolar disorder. If you're somebody who has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, I would actually love to hear from you on this subject and let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, <clears throat> It goes on to say that she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder too. She talks about the medication she was getting, but then she also talks about um, some kind of like hallucinations that she's having and seeing things. And this can be one of the symptoms of bipolar disorder. But like I said, there are some cases why bipolar disorder is 
a misdiagnosis and a person might be struggling with a different kind of disorder that involves these kind of hallucinations, whether it's seeing things or hearing things and things like that. Now, if you're somebody who saw this video from Minute Videos about being diagnosed with um, bipolar disorder and you're a high school student, like it is very, very important to talk to somebody. Please, please, please talk to somebody. If you are under the age of 18 or even if you're just like 18 or in your early 20s, like talk to somebody. If you, like not even just like if you think of bipolar disorder, just anything's going on and you just don't understand. Like one of the reasons I'm so passionate about this is because I used to be afraid to talk about this stuff when I was in high school and I developed uh, depression and anxiety and other issues in high school. So talk to somebody. The first option, the best option is always to talk to your parents. If for some reason, if for some reason you do not feel comfortable talking to your parents about this, please go see your school counselor. Some schools even have therapists or psychologists who come down but if that's something that you're still not very comfortable with, like find like your favorite teacher, a teacher that you click with, that you connect with, one that's cool and talk to them, all right? Talk to somebody, talk to an adult. Like it is very important to have like a support group and like I wish I could just say like, yeah, just talk to your friends about this. But unfortunately, like your friends, if you are, you know, a teenager or even like in your early 20s, like they might not have the ability to help you in the way that you need to be helped. Now, they could be a great form of support for you, but you need to talk to some kind of adult get some recommendations, get some resources, and figure this thing out, all right? But there are so, so, so many people, so many people out there who have been diagnosed with various mental disorders and live amazing, happy lives. Like I said, I was diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder, with depression, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, and my life's pretty good, good now. Now that I've been clean for over six and a half years, my anxiety, my depression are under control, my emotions aren't flying all over the place, so things can get better, but it starts by reaching out and asking for help, all right? But again, like I said, if you've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, let me know, let everybody know down in the comments below and let's have a conversation about this. What was your diagnosis like? Um, did you get put on any medications? Did you see a psychologist? Did you see a psychiatrist? How did that work out for you, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get involved in our monthly Q&A, some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.